Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Tuesday of the week of Pentecost 11, 18 of August, the reading is actually that of a Eucharistic hymn translated by Gerald Gerard Manley Hopkins. It's a Thomas Aquinas hymn, 1225-1274. Godhead, I adore thee fast in hiding, Thou God in these bare shapes, poor shadows, darkling now. See, Lord, at thy service, lo, lies here a heart lost, all lost in wonder at the God thou art. Seeing, touching, tasting, are in thee deceived. How says trusty hearing that shall be believed? What God's Son has told me, take for truth I do, Truth himself speaks truly, or there's nothing true. On the cross thy Godhead made no sign to men. Here thy very manhood steals from humankind. Both are my confession, both are my belief. I pray thee the prayer of the dying thief. I am not like Thomas, wounds I cannot see, but can plainly call the Lord and God as he, this faith each day, deeper be my holding of, daily make me harder hope and dearer love. O oh, thou our reminder of Christ crucified, living bread, the life of us for whom he died, lend this life to me then, feed and feast my mind, there be thou the sweetness man was meant to find. Like what tender tales of thee, the pelican, bathe me, Jesu, Lord, in what thy bosom ran, blood that but one drop has the worth to win all the world, forgiveness of its world of sin. Jesu, whom I look at veiled here below, I beseech thee, send me what I thirst for so, some day to gaze on thee face to face in light and be blessed forever in thy glory's sight. The prayer, J. C. William Lohe, 1808-1872, for those of us in Florida and even other places regarding summer. Be thou praised, O Lord my God, for the unfathomable goodness which thou deignest to bestow upon us with the beautiful summer time, wherein thou coverest the earth so richly and abundantly with the delightful fruits which thy hand has prepared. Most heartily I beseech thee, cause me to use the time in conscience unto thy glory and the furthering of my fellow man. Bless our land with fatherly gifts and mercifully preserve us from all destructive rains, from thunder, lightning, hail, and storms. Above all, cause my heart to be conscious of all these thy gracious benefits to realize the penetrating thunders of thy law, as well as the graciously gentle reigns of thy holy gospel. Renew and refresh my soul mightily with thy comfort under the heat and burden of the cross, and let the contemplation of the passing grandeur of earth and these physical blessings serve me unto a recognition of the everlasting glory and blessed joys which the eye has not seen, ear has not heard, and the heart of man has not imagined, the things which thou hast prepared for them that love thee. Finally, perfect thou me that in the day of the harvest of heavenly joys and the bringing in of the sheaves into thy glory, I may evermore truly praise and magnify thee my heavenly Father, together with thy dear Son and the blessed Comforter, the Holy Ghost. Amen.